Hi friends, I am Mani. I am the blogger behind GetMoneyRich.com. Today in this video, we will understand uh, the impact of stock splits and bonus issued by the uh, companies on the overall return uh, generated by the uh, stock. There is a very dramatic effect of stock splits and uh, bonus issue. We will uh, see some calculations uh, and that will explain us that what is the impact but before we go into the calculation part let uh, let me give you a small uh, introduction about uh, what are bonus issues and what are stock splits so what you see in the screen is uh, is a screenshot i have taken from money control it is for budget paints and uh, here i uh, what you see is a price chart of budget paint right from the date of its inception till today and in during this time horizon you can see there are three instances of a bonus issue whatever you the balloons that you see in orange mentioned as b those are bonus issues on those uh, dates the company has issued bonus shares and uh, there are there were two instances of stock splits so uh, in the first instant the bonus uh, issue was 1 is to 2 so what what does it mean by 1 is to 2 it means that for every two share held by the investor they will get one additional share this is the meaning 1 is to 2 similarly for bonus ratio 3 is to 5 what does it mean it means that for every five share held by the stock investor they will get three additional shares this is the meaning so this is what is bonus issue what is stock split in the stock split like you can see here it is mentioned as split old fv10 new fv2 what does it mean in money control it is uh, represented like this and because we are going to pull the data from money control so i will explain what does it mean in money control so old fv10 new fv2 what does it mean it means that before the stock split the face value of stock was 10 and after the stock split the face value became 2 what does it mean it means that the face value of the stock is reduced by 5 times 10 divided by 2 5 times the face value reduced by 5 times it means that the number of stock held by the investor will increase by 5 times the face value reducing by 5 times simultaneously the number of stocks held by the investor will increase by five times let me give an example suppose there is an investor before the stock split he had one share of a company now because uh, the face value has been reduced by five times simultaneously the investor who had only one share his number of shares after the split will be multiplied by five so now after the stock split he will have five shares earlier he had one after split he will have five another example suppose an investor who had five stocks before the split after the split he will have into five now let's take another example for budget paint the another of uh, stock split happened where the face value two was reduced to face value one face value 2 reduced to 1 it means that the face value became half in this case suppose there is an investor who had only one stock before the split so what the, what will happen to his number of shares it will be multiplied by 2 why multiplied by 2 because face value is becoming half that's why the number of share will increase by the same amount by the same multiple that is 2 so this is the basic about uh, um, what are the mathematics behind the bonus issue and the stock splits now this is the template that we will use to calculate the return generated by sun pharma stock after considering the effect of bonus shares and stock splits the impact is very dramatic that's why i wanted to show you in this video so before we go into the calculation part we have to get some data and uh, our example stock is sun pharma so we will go to moneycontrol.com and we will type in sun pharma 
the sun pharma page will open in money control just scroll down a little bit and you will see a price chart here and uh, click on this advanced interactive chart a new page will open and in that page also what you will see is a price chart here you click max click on max and the chart will uh, look something like this so we will remove some clutters here what we will do we will deselect some things deselect the dividend deselect the rights and deselect the show range bar once you deselect what you will see here is like this there are three instances of bonus issue in the orange balloon and two instances of stock splits so now we will start collecting the data just uh, hover your cursor to the beginning of the chart and you will see that in on 12th on 3rd january 2000 uh, the um, sun pharma stock price was 15.14 so we will note down this value in year 2000 the price of sun pharma was 15.14 just note down this value and now we are in 2020 so i have already prepared this table so we are now in 2020 so we will now note a price of sun pharma in 2020 today so we will go back to money control and today what is the price of sun pharma 511.55 so we'll go back to our excel and note this value here 511.55 so we have collected the price in 2000 the price was this and in 2020 the price is this so if we consider only these uh, only the price what is the return generated by the stock in uh, 20 years it can be calculated by using the CAGR formula the CAGR formula is this final value final value divided by starting value starting value close the bracket to the power 1 divided by n what is n n is the number of years here the number of years is 20 so 20 then minus 1 minus 1 so if we consider only the price end to end price price in 2000 and price in 2020 the company has given a return of 19.2 percent but this is this is not the right uh, uh, return number that we should consider what we should consider is what is the return generated by stock after considering bonus shares and stock splits so we have to collect the details about the bonus shares so let's go back here to money control and you can see here the first bonus share was issued in 2000 in 2 is to 1 ratio in 2000 in 2 is to 1 ratio means for every one share held by the uh, stockholder two shares were issued okay second is the second bonus share was issued in 2004 1 is to 1 in 2004 1 is to 1 and the third bonus share was issued in 2013 again in the same ratio 1 is to 1 so just note down these values no calculation just noting down the values let's now do the calculation uh, uh, data uh, picking for stock split so for stock split the stock was first split in 2003 face value 10 reduced to face value 5 so in 2003 face value 10 to 5 it was reduced by two times and in 2010 it was reduced from 5 to 1 2010 it was reduced from 5 to 1 here 5 times reduction here 2 times reduction now let just for example sake suppose somebody bought the sh bought just one share just one share of sun pharma in year 2000 so what is the amount he spent to buy that one share just for example without considering brokerage and other things he spent 15.14 rupees okay he bought only one share ideally speaking without considering bonus shares and other things this 
and suppose this investor held on to his stock for all these 20 years means he bought in 2000 and till today he still is holding that one share so it should something like this okay the share holding should look something like this he held on to these shares for all these 20 years but this is not the right number of share holding because in between these things have happened the company has also issued bonus shares and the company has also split their shares so what is the effect of these two on the number of shareholdings now let's see on 2000 year 2000 the person bought only one share but here you see for every one share of the investor the company has given them two more shares means the person had one share he also got two more share so he had three shares so he will have three share here three share here now here in 2003 there was a stock split face value reduced from 10 uh, uh, reduced from 10 to 5 means the face value became reduced by two times so the shares will increase by two times into two so now the share will become six now again in 2004 there was another bonus share for every one share held by the stock investor the the person got one more share so how to do this calculation you can do like this 1 divided by 1 1 divided by 1 into number of shares uh, the person already has is 6 plus 6 so because of this 1 is to 1 bonus share the person had 6 shares now after the bonus issue he will have 12 shares so he will continue to have these 12 shares in all these years so i am repeating these numbers now again in 2010 the company again split his shares split the shares by face value of 5 became 1 it means that the face value is reduced by 5 times so the number of shares held will increase by 5 times so it became 60 so it will continue to have 60 60 now again a bonus issue 1 is to 1 it means how to do the calculation 1 divided by 1 into 60 plus 60 so the person had 60 shares he will get 60 more shares and it will become 120 now it will continue like this for the remaining part so i'm just repeating these values so see what is the effect of bonus shares and stock splits the person bought only one share in 2000 but it became 120 in 20 years now let's see the impact when we considered only the price the return was 19.2 percent after considering bonus and stock splits what will be the return we will see so initially the person sorry we will have to initially the person spent only 15.14 rupees to buy the one share after 20th year the stock he has is 120 numbers into the current price is 511 so you can see he spent 15.14 rupees in 2000 and it became 61,000 after 20 years so what is the return so we'll use the CAGR formula final value this is the final value divided by the starting value the starting value to the power 1 divided by n n is number of years 20 minus 1 amazing you can see 51.5 percent per annum and why it happened it it happened because first of all somebody held on to their shares for all these 20 years <clears throat> and number two because the company issued some bonus shares then company also <clears throat> did some stock splits so what does it mean what is the difference between these two values let's understand this 
Suppose <coughs> somebody invested 10,000 rupees in year 2000 in Sun Pharma. What value will be this 10,000 in today's context? 1 plus, I will do the calculation, I will repeat again the steps 10,000 invested into 1 plus the return to the power 20. This is the compound interest formula. Why 20? 20 is the number of years. So, a 10,000 10, rupees invested <coughs> in year 2000 became 337,000 in 20 years. But this is after considering uh, uh, the CAGR only on basis of price. But actually this is not the thing. The, actually, the actual price increase was from 15 rupees to 61,000. So let's calculate that 10,000 into 1 plus this to the power 20. Amazing. You see, 10,000 becoming 4 crores in 20 years. Amazing. This is a very huge advantage of long term investment. Buy a good stock and hold that stock for a very very long time and when i say very very long time it means like 20 years just because somebody held on to sun pharma stock for all these years their 10000 became 4 crore in 20 years so that's all my friend i hope you got the concept or uh, you got the um, impact of bonus shares and stock splits on the returns so if you like the video friends please subscribe to my uh, youtube channel i will keep giving you some uh, cool uh, informations like this uh, in future please subscribe to my youtube channel and you can also you know, watch my blog at getmoneyrich.com